Hey, welcome Peter Westerbakka. What a great honor to have a celebrity like you in this virtual com com conference. Very, very much welcome. Hey, thanks. Great to be here. Yeah, I mean, to present you is really uh, something amazing. I mean, you were the figurehead for the game Angry Birds in many years, and you made a world success. Then you founded this epic conference for startups and investors, Slush. And now, uh, now you are in the news titles and you are being a funnel under the sea from Helsinki to Tallinn. It's some 30 miles or 50 kilometers. How do you do this, man? Uh, it's, uh, you know, I just uh, try to focus on making st stuff happen. So it, it's uh, kind of like no big deal. No big deal, you say. Yeah. Making stuff happen. That was your message. But hey, uh, I mean, you have the ability to dream, to big, dream big. What is the secret, Peter? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, just <laughs> I was getting another call there, so I just, uh, anyway, yes, so uh, obviously, uh, um, yeah, I have gotten involved in a few, uh, like, big projects, so uh, uh, that's, uh, that's true, and, and uh, I had never been afraid of, uh, kind of like thinking a bit uh, out of the box, thinking a bit uh, bigger. So uh, always been questioning uh, everything. Uh, so I think that's kind of like uh, part of it. And uh, then uh, kind of like my thinking has always been that, you know, uh, while you're at it, uh, why not uh, make it a bit bigger? And uh, I think that I applied that to uh, to pretty much like uh, everything. And, and uh, always said that uh, when... Uh, you're presenting kind of like the ambition and the goals. If people laugh, then you probably have set uh, the right like uh, ambition, and then it's your job to to kind of like stop the laughter. So, uh, so I think that uh, you know when I uh, uh, was working on Angry Birds, I uh, very early told people that okay, we're gonna go for a hundred million downloads, and then I was immediately told that hey, Peter, you're crazy. Nobody has ever gotten to a hundred million downloads of anything, not even Tetris. And they had been around like for 20 years at the time. Uh, so uh, then, uh, yeah, basically then we just went out there and uh, made it. So we got to the 100 million downloads. And after that, everything was actually very easy. Uh, so, uh, so I think that uh, that's also the nice thing with setting ambitious goals that then uh, uh, when you kind of like achieve what people then think uh, is impossible, then... Uh, after that, obviously, it's uh, you know not so uh, uh, difficult anymore, and it's actually very possible. So I think it's uh, it's the nice nice part of uh, you know then uh, achieving those goals. So uh, it it helps to uh, have ambitious goals, and of course, it helps even more if you then like manage to hit those. <laughs> yeah. So the laughter is the is the is the key here that you have to. Yeah, do. it's always good to laugh. Yeah. And then you have to get them to stop the laughing when, when you did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but of course, uh, this requires quite much courage. Where do you get that? Yeah, yeah I think that, uh, I mean, you should always, um, uh, let's say, not be afraid of doing new things. And, uh, and I, I think that, uh, uh, yeah, I haven't really like thought too much about, uh, you know, courage or, or not. But I think one thing that is, uh, again, important uh, uh, for the leadership of any organization uh, is uh, to make sure that you create an environment where people are not afraid of doing new things. And uh, of course, part of doing new things is always that, uh, you know, when you do new things more often than not, uh, these new things fail. So uh, you shouldn't be afraid of trying new things uh, and then failing. So uh, I think that is, is kind of like part of it. Uh, but yeah, the, the most important thing is always to uh, having the courage, not being afraid of going out there, doing uh, kind of like crazy new things, doing them uh, with uh, kind of like crazy ambition. And uh, yeah, of course, I mean, many times you fail, but then you just, uh, you know, you learn and then you kind of like fail again and eventually, you know, you'll be successful. So I think that it's, it's, uh, you know, like all part of this is, is really, again, uh, that it's, it's about the doing. I think that's, uh, that's really kind of like the bottom line, that you just have to be, um, 
or not be afraid and just go out there and, and try. Yeah, but it, it looks like to, to us externals that you are winning all the time. Have you ever failed? I think that, uh, that uh, we all uh, fail like all the time. So I think that that is, uh, you know, again, when you try new things, that's, that's kind of like uh, almost like the expected outcome. But uh, I think that uh, the, the trick there is to kind of like just keep at it. And, you know, sometimes it takes a year, sometimes it takes 10 years. And, uh, you know, you just need to believe in like what you're doing and, uh, and kind of like stick to it. And I, I think that if you look at, kind of like the Rovio story, that it wasn't that Angry Birds was kind of like the first game. It was actually the 52nd game. So it took quite a bit of, uh, you know, kind of like uh, learning, if you will, uh, in, in that. And then, uh, of course, um, Angry Birds became uh, a massive, uh, massive success. But uh, again, it wasn't the first attempt. It wasn't the first game. And, and I think this is true for, you know, most uh, you know, things in life that you, uh, you need to uh, give it a few tries and uh, then stick with it. And then, uh, you know, uh, you have to be uh, very persistent. And uh, then uh, I think that that is uh, kind of like a key ingredient of any, any success that uh, you can't give up easily. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, now when you have a new project like that, you have to somehow mm -hmm. clarify your strategy. This is now a strategy conference. So, so mm -hmm. how do you do that, do that when you have a big dream to build a funnel under the sea? How, how do you create your strategy? Yeah, I think that, um, um, yeah, I mean, okay, uh, even realizing that it's like a strategy conference, uh, you know, there is the saying that, you know, uh, uh, culture is strategy for breakfast yeah. and lunch and dinner. But, uh, but I think that uh, it, it's... it's um, um, strategy, I think, is, is uh, useless if you don't um, uh, communicate it, if you don't get people to like, understand the strategy and, and like, what you're trying to do. So uh, it should be very, very easy. And, and a very important part of like, uh, effective strategy is, is of course, uh, telling people what you are trying to achieve. So, you know, be it uh, 100 million uh, uh, downloads of a game or, uh, you know, building the, the biggest and best startup conference on the planet or, um, you know, building a tunnel, uh, which is I mean, pretty obvious and pretty easy to understand that, okay, we're connecting, you know, Helsinki and Tallinn with a tunnel. So, uh, like, how difficult can that be? But, yeah, anyway, so, so I think that then, then the strategy, uh, again, uh, you, you have to be... Uh, very clear you have to keep things very simple so uh, you know if you ask in most organizations in most companies you ask them you know like what is the strategy and what are we trying to do here uh, in many organizations most people have no clue about like what's uh, you know uh, the strategy and what uh, what you're trying to achieve uh, as, as an organization so so I think that uh, again uh, uh, from my perspective, uh, I always start with uh, kind of like a, a long-term uh, like goal, you know, a big goal that we want to go after. And then you figure out, you know, like how to get there. So uh, the strategy for uh, uh, making that so. And, uh, and I think that also an uh, important part of kind of like uh, any strategy is that it, it shouldn't be like uh, cut in stone, that uh, the world uh, keeps changing around us. So we need to be very adaptive and i think this is you know like the basic uh, darwinian like thinking that it's not the strongest or or whatever but it's the species that are the best at adapting to the changing conditions and i think that this is also true for organizations that uh, you know no matter what kind of strategy you have it can be you know brilliant and everything but if you don't change when the world changes you know then uh, good luck with that so so um yeah, so I think that it's, it's uh, of course, uh, not, uh, you know, like a short, easy, you know, like question. But uh, for me, uh, it really always starts with, uh, you know, the, uh, the goal. What are we trying to achieve? And then kind of like the strategy for getting there uh, varies. But, uh, you know, you typically, it helps if you know what you're trying to do. Yeah, but uh, how did you concretely involve your people that, of course, 
the vision comes there, the big goal, but then you have to get your people to work on it and to understand what to do. How do you do that concretely? Yeah, I think that that you also need to come then uh, uh, break that into that you know, okay, long term, this is what you want to do: hundred million downloads or or you know whatever it happens to be. Uh, so that's uh, of course like very simple to measure and very easy to understand and all of that. So then you know, okay, long term, this is what you want to do. But then you also need to translate that into like, okay. So what can uh, I do? What can my team do today, uh, you know, to achieve that? So you also need to kind of like translate that into, uh, you know, actions that you can uh, kind of deal with like on a daily basis. So it's not just the long term, but you really need to then uh, think about uh, what to do. Uh, you throw the ball to the people that they have to come, come radio. How do you do that? Yeah, and I, th- I, and I think that, uh, that it's, it's also um, one, one part of setting kind of like ambitious goals. It means that uh, you can't just achieve those by doing, you know, a bit more. Let's work, you know, a bit longer hours or, or you know, like uh, whatever. Uh, it, it really means that you have to have like a step change that you really need to think about uh, how do we get there? How do we get to like 100 million? And then uh, in this case, I think also, uh, that it, it, in the end it wasn't about, uh, you know, just uh, the game. It was about building a brand and uh, the strategy there was, you know, uh, people always say that, okay, that you guys are like all over the map, like with Angry Birds, that I mean, you should focus on games. You're like a games company. But uh, then uh, the strategy was actually very focused, but it was uh, all about uh, being in the, business of providing Angry Birds branded uh, products and experiences in all forms and shapes to our fans. And I think that is a very easy, very simple strategy, but from the outside, it could look like, uh, you know, oh, those guys are like putting Angry Birds everywhere. And yeah, of course we were. And, uh, and that was uh, a very uh, kind of like thought through strategy that that was how uh, then, you know, uh, you, uh, you know, uh, played the game, drank the soft drink, uh, bought the toy, played the game, uh, and you know, um, drank the soft drink. Uh, realized that you need to play the game again. So it's it's again surrounding kind of like the consumer with uh, the brand from like all all directions and uh, making that part of uh, uh, kind of like everyday life. Uh, so uh, the strategy there was uh, very simple, but then. Uh, from the outside, it might have looked like uh, totally random activity all over the place. And I think that this is uh, always important that uh, you kind of like need to know what you are uh, trying to achieve and then why you are doing all the things that you are doing. Uh, and, uh, and that is, uh, again, uh, I think the uh, characteristic of like a good strategy that it kind of like all make sense all the actions that you are doing they're all like aligned like in this you know example that you know from the outside oh those guys are you know making angry birds soft drinks building parks doing toys they should focus they are uh you know um uh, a games company so they should focus on what they know but we saw ourselves as a brand company and uh, and uh, then of course uh, everything starts to make sense so so that is again uh, you know having a, a proper strategy and then being able to communicate it. But then in our case, it was also about then making uh, one metric uh, that was easy to understand, which was the 100 million downloads, uh, making that kind of like the, the thing that we needed to do. But of course, uh, keeping in mind this bigger like brand uh, perspective. So the 100 million was just kind of like a, a easy to understand, easy to kind of like follow, easy to implement uh, kind of like thing, but then that supported a bigger strategy perfectly. But uh, it was easier to communicate, uh, you know, 100 million downloads. Everybody can understand uh, that it's not uh, kind of too difficult. Yeah, and your focus was to dominate the day of the fan. Yeah. And you dominated that by taking all this and other people saw it as not focusing, but you had this another type of identity and you want it to... Yeah, we did. Uh, and I think that, that that is also actually a very good point. And I think that this is uh, also, uh, I think, uh, uh, important in strategy is to do things differently. So, of course, if everybody has the same strategy, you know, then uh, 
you know, typically uh, that's not like a good idea. Uh, and it's a little bit like, uh, again, uh, also if everybody's doing the exact same product, then, uh, you know, uh, uh, tough to be uh, successful for like any, any of the players. Yeah. And, and I think that, uh, that this is also, uh, you know, kind of like the thing, uh, if, if one example of that actually you mentioned Slush there uh, before, you know, everybody else uh, was doing these wannabe Silicon Valley events. So, you know, you go to Beijing and they will tell you that Beijing wants to be the Silicon Valley of China and Hangzhou and Shenzhen and, you know, Shanghai, every city in China wants to be the Silicon Valley of China. Tokyo wants to be the Silicon Valley of Asia. And uh, I don't know how many hundreds, maybe even thousands of events that I've been to where they will tell you that they want to be the Silicon Valley of this, Silicon Valley of that. So instead of then doing what everybody else was doing with Slush, we decided that, okay, we'll organize Slush uh, in November in Helsinki. So when you come to Helsinki in November, it's cold, it's dark, there is slush on the ground. So uh, very quickly you realize that it's not the Silicon Valley. It's better. It's much, much better because it's different. And I think that this is something, again, uh, uh, what uh, a successful strategy should always have is that uh, let everybody else you know, fight with the similar strategies, the similar messages, and then you do something that is different and uh, doing that uh, different thing uh, most of the time, that is also uh, much better. So, uh, so uh, I, for me, uh, strategies uh, always about uh, also uh, doing things differently. Is there any kind of question you ask yourself or that, that how to find this differentiation? Because is it just that you ask that how are we different or do you have kind of sub questions that help you? Yeah, I think that, that it should be immediately obvious already like uh, uh, on the surface that it's, it's something that's very different. So, so I think that, uh, that, that is, is kind of like, uh, I mean, marketing and marketing strategy and, and uh, all of that, but it, it should be uh, very easy for, for anybody to uh, see the difference and understand that it's different. So I think that that is, uh, again, you know, you, we come back to this, uh, uh, having things that are simple, easy to understand. Otherwise, you know, uh, probably it needs some work. And, you know, many of these things that are complicated and you can't understand are complicating and not easy to understand because they are that and they haven't been thought through. And, and to do simple things uh, requires, uh, I think, special skill as well. So you need to be able to uh, do less, you know, not more. Uh, it's kind of like a classic example here in, in Finland, uh, you know, we had Nokia making phones with hundreds and hundreds of features. And then the guys at Apple did, uh, you know, the iPhone, it had uh, very few features, but they were very easy to use and uh, people could like understand. And uh, then, uh, you know, that kind of simplicity uh, in, in everything, uh, you know, uh, won the day. And, and I think that uh, the exact same true is true for, a good strategy that it doesn't have to be hundreds or thousands of pages. It can be like uh, a few like uh, sentences and uh, to get it to a few sentences typically requires a lot of work, a lot of thinking, but uh, you have to do that. And uh, then, uh, uh, you know, then you win basically. Yeah. That's, that's strategy business. That's exactly to put it on. Mm -hmm. But there is much thinking involved. Hey, about the implementation, Peter, still a few words. Yeah. What is your advice? Because, I mean, there are obstacles always coming up. And, and how, how should you kind of make a very efficient implementation? Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I think that, uh, that it really starts with, uh, you know, really thinking about, okay, how are we different? And if not, how could we be? Different. So I think that that is, uh, you have to be very like conscious about that and you have to kind of like always ask. And, I, and that's what I ask, you know, I, I get pitched by a lot of startups and I always ask that, you know, like, why are you guys different from the other guys that, you know, just pitched me, uh, you know, about their latest and greatest product, you know. And, and I think that uh, it, it, it's something that you really have to work very hard on as well because, um, uh, for uh, all of us and, and for kind of like human beings, it, it's very natural to try to conform, try to fit in. Yeah. 
So meaning trying to do what everybody else is doing because then you know then you conform with the group, with the team, with the company, whatever. Uh, and uh, and that's actually uh, again not what you need to do in order to get uh, you know a good strategy in place. And uh, and so you have to be very conscious about like uh, uh, being different. I love that point. That that people tend to want to come come for. Yeah, I think it's very normal and, and very natural, and and uh, you kind of like have to break away from that, and you uh, you really have to be uh, very kind of conscious about that. That uh, let's not uh, try to conform because that is uh, not a good idea when you have uh, hundreds or even thousands of competitors. Uh, you know, then then you don't want to be the same as them. Yeah. Peter, I think that, that your speech now has, has given us very many, many core points. So, so uh, I think that we have to think on this and you, got, you get so much now. So let's conclude it by saying that what would your main advice be to people who are now having a small company or a medium-sized company, they want to simplify their strategy on one page, what is the most important thing to remember? Uh, I, I think that uh, maybe the most important thing is to get it done. Uh, so I think that that is like uh, true for uh, pretty much like anything. And, and uh, I really believe in, in kind of like learning by doing. I think that you can apply to, to uh, pretty much anything. I mean, there are, of course, always exceptions to everything. But I, I think that uh, nowadays, uh, again, depending on the business and, and all that, but it, it, it really um, helps to kind of like go out there, do stuff, and then uh, many times, as we touched on before, you'll fail when you're trying to do new things, but uh, you will learn a lot. And uh, then, uh, you know, uh, this goes also for strategy that, uh, uh, of course, invest, you know, the time and energy uh, to get it, uh, like, going. But uh, I think that then, uh, you know, it's, it's also... Uh, good to have a bit of a uh, iterative like uh, process there so uh, going out there you know see how it works and i'm of course not advocating that okay let's change the strategy like every day but uh, also uh, uh, don't be afraid of uh, changing things uh, around when you uh, realize that things are not working so i think it's it's uh, uh, it's important to again not be afraid of changing the strategy if it doesn't work so uh, I, I really think in, in especially, you know, smaller, um, you know, medium-sized companies and all that, I mean, you can change things uh, much faster and that's a big advantage that that's you have over kind of like the bigger guys. So, uh, uh, yeah, don't be afraid of like uh, playing around with your strategy and figuring it out. And uh, then, uh, you know, uh, once you figure it out, then, you know, like stick to it until you need to change it again. Yeah, don't be afraid of playing around and then stick yeah. And the most important thing you said is just do it. Yeah, I think it's very important. Peter Westerbakka, what a joy to have you here. Thank hey, you. thank you. It was great. Thank you.